Hey, good morning, you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling well. I hope everything is fantastic. <laughs> okay. All right. The Today is Monday. Monday is actually Reactors Day, but what does that matter when this entire weekend I actually picked the songs and didn't stick with any genre? I guess it really doesn't. No, it does. I'm actually going back to the schedule that we normally have starting today. And today is Reactors Day. This is interesting because this song <laughs> has now been released three different times in three different formats. And I... Oh, Joyner. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys know how much I love Joyner Lucas. Like, I love Joyner Lucas. <laughs> there aren't too many artists out there that I just say I straight up love. Doesn't matter what they put out. I love it, right? Except when this project began. It's like, he is so infuriating when it comes to this ADHD project, right? The first song that he released off of ADHD, I did not like. It was a club song, the I, the what? The I love you, the love, whatever. I didn't like that song. <clears throat> then he goes on to release a couple more songs, which I like. I'm like, yes, okay, we're back. Isis was good. Things were going okay. Except that none of us knew when he was going to drop this project. Because he changed labels so many times. Then he went independent. Now I don't know who he signed to. You guys can let me know in the comments exactly where his status is as far as who he is signed to now at this time. Or is he independent? Because I don't know. But nothing has been as infuriating as this revenge title. Because, oh my gosh. First of all, he lets the single ADHD out. <sighs> Wasn't my most popular opinion or reaction video because I said I didn't like it. I think it was because it, his voice was auto-tuned throughout the whole thing. And I, me listening to Joyner auto-tuned is, why do I want to hear that? He's so gifted and he has such a distinctive voice and recognizable voice that the second you hear him, you're like, that's Joyner Lucas. To have him auto-tuned, I was like, that's crazy. Why would you ever even want to do that to your voice, right? So that was my problem with the ADHD song. So he releases ADHD. Then he turns around and releases a track called Revenge Intro. And there's a video with it. We watch it and it, we find out, and we all believe, I think, that it's Revenge is the intro to ADHD. They go together, right? Because that's the way it's put out. <laughs> then he comes back and releases an audio called Revenge, which is the entire song of Revenge. It's not attached to ADHD at all, like Revenge intro is. I'm like, what is going on? What the hell's going on? First, Revenge goes from an intro. And by the way, the intro is exactly the same as the song, except the song is longer. First, and it has a video to it. And now it's just an audio and it's a full song. I mean, he's making me schizophrenic the way he's doing this. Now, okay, now we have revenge and there's a full video, I'm told, to it. <clears throat> Maybe if I had been here three weeks ago when it was released, everybody's telling me, leave me in the comments, you'll understand what you watch the whole video. It'll all, all of it will come together. That's fine. <clears throat> but it doesn't change the fact that this whole thing has been completely scatterbrained. I think it's the whole key to it because does he want us to feel ADHD like we have ADHD like him? Trust me. I said this before. I know what it's like to live with somebody who has ADHD and deal with it because my son had severe ADHD as well as learning disabilities. So I just don't expect it when I'm trying to review an album. That's all. Okay. Enough of me going on and on about this. Let's just get it. Zoe. Okay. Why is this dude always in the back of a truck? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you guys remember the one with him and Chris Brown, right? Like, this dude is always in the back of a truck somewhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, enough pausing. Let's go. I just want to know what his fascination is with being in the back of trucks. There's going to be a story with this. Zoe. Simon. You know, I'm taking the first house to Jesse. Crowd control. Crowd control. Red. Cell phones as always. I got cell phones. What? What? <laughs> I got hey, cell phones. Hey, hey. Who the fuck is this guy? No, you're lame, Red. I swear to God. No, you're lame, Red. 
Who the fuck is this guy? Yo, dude, he's the dude who did fucking half a yard in Shirley with my dad, dude. Calm down. Yo, is we gonna do this shit or what? Look, everybody shut the fuck up. Zoe, you know what to do. As soon as you get up in that motherfucker, you take the first hostage. Got you. Tommy, just make sure you have my back. Red, let him have his cell phones, okay? Fine. Guys, look. We got 90 seconds to do this shit, top to bottom, all right? The manager, his name- I love the Boston accents that are going on around here, especially this guy over here. It's like, ugh, reminds me of home, sorry. His name is Donald Silva. He's the white Donald boy with the blue checkered shirt. His wife's name is Cynthia. His daughter's name is Alina. My daughter. Just remind this motherfucker what's important. I oh, they're robbing a bank. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need your complete and undivided oh, shit. attention. Oh, shit. Y'all know what This is like a fucking movie, but did you see how hard it looked like he hit that chick? I'm sorry. This is already like eight minutes, so this is going to be a lot longer than that. <laughs> His daughter's name is Alina. His daughter's name is Alina. Just remind this motherfucker what's important. All right. I <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need your complete and oh. undivided attention. <laughs> Y'all know what we're here for. Come on. I need Get everybody up. to go into their pockets slowly and remove their cell phones. Do not call 911. Do not try to be a hero. Some of y'all might think y'all slick, but I have in my possession a banana clip, fully packed with nine millimeter hollow tip projectiles. Hollow tip? Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck's he got hollow tip for? Does he want them to not have a fucking head anymore, or at least a back of the head? I don't know if any of you know the relevance of a hollow tip bullet. Okay, so basically. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if this dude knows the relevance of what a hollow tip is since he's an actor, not an actual bank robber. But the hollow tips were actually actually never supposed to fall into the hands of. I actually have a hollow tip right over here. <laughs> don't ask me what I have a hollow tip for. Don't ask me. But I have one right up here somewhere. What the hell? I bet it's in here somewhere. I have a nine mil hollow tip around here somewhere. But anyway. A hollow tip round, basically, if you look at the top of, you know how most bullets come to a point at the end? On a hollow tip, it's like it comes up and then it looks like there's a giant divot in the middle of the point. Like the point isn't there. It looks like the point collapsed inside. And what it does is when the bullet goes in, when it comes out, it makes, boom, it like completely like makes a big crater where the bullet comes out, right? it implodes like it like there's nothing there <laughs> so like say a bullet why am i doing this it's gonna gross a lot of people out that's the damage of a hollow tip where <laughs> i just don't i think that's just kind of like a gory thing that that guy added in there you know and very few people would have picked up on it but yeah it's crazy yep hollow tip <laughs> i'm sorry i just went into all that with you guys but i just thought it was kind of nuts some of y'all might think y'all slick but I have in my possession a banana clip, fully packed with nine millimeter hollow tip projectiles. Yeah. And I promise you, it is slicker Fast than up. any of y'all monkey asses. Open the vault. Open. Put it in this hole. <laughs> There's no way she's gonna be able to do it like go. that, dude. No, you got it. <laughs> Come on. Like Christmas came early this year, huh? Shit, I guess so. They're not gonna look for any ink cartridges, ink things, or anything in that stack, honey. Come on now. Ink packs. Got 15 seconds. Get the fuck out of here, man. Huh? Who's he gonna kill? Black guy. Sorry, bro. Oh, join her. What the fuck you doing, bro? Oh! Fuck! What did I want? What did I grind? What did I shine? What did I 
wanna strive, the more I stop The more that I cheat, the more that she leave The more that she cry, the hard to trust The more that I lie, the more that she die The more that I lie, the more that I die the more that I try, the more that I want The more that I grind, the more that I shine The more that I strive, the more that I start The more that I cheat, the more that she leave The more that she cry, the harder to trust The more that I lie, the more that she dies The more I realize I'm harder to love I'm harder to, I'm harder to teach, my heart is a beat And I'm a drum I'm harder to keep, my heart is a sleep Oh fuck, um, hold up, my money upstairs um, Come in, come, come in, come in, join her I'm not gonna play, not for the games I'm not gonna change, put that on my son Put that on my mom, put that on my sis Put that on my bitch and all of my hoes Put that on my team, put that on my G's I say what I mean, you already know Put that on my city, put that on my Bentley, I got me a beam, I wanted to roll Sip on some Henny and ride with the semi All my niggas with me, I'm calling a toast oh. Calling the plug, you calling the cops I call you a snitch, you holding a grudge You calling a judge, you say you a thug I call you a bitch, I call you a hoe Don't call me a bro, don't call me no more I call you a trick, I'm tired of the hate I'm tired of the snakes, I'm tired of your face You on my dick, I wanted the fame I wanted the name, I wanted the break I wanted the love, I wanted the cake I want to be great, I wanted to change And all the above, you want me to fall You want me to crawl, you want me to star They want me to drugs, you want me to fail They want me to jail, they want my soul They want my blood, I'm out for revenge Money upstairs. What's up, Tommy? Oh, me? <laughs> He's like, I'm looking at a fucking ghost right now. Or if not the ghost, and the friggin' devil incarnate. He's like, this dude's like the fucking Grim Reaper coming to just take my soul for what I did. Hold on, I'm sorry. I gotta back that shit up a little bit. <laughs> I pull up on them white sleep. You gon' see, it's a fucking murder spree. You gon' see, won't nobody say a peep. You gon' see, don't you turn your back on me. You gon' see, roll up on them white sleep. Catch a nigga slipping, I might hit him with the pop. They gon' miss him, cause revenge feels sweet. You gon' see, won't nobody say a peep. You gon' see. Give me a pen, I don't even drink, but fuck it, I need some Henny and gin. Plenty of sins, I broke my bitch's heart, she'll never oh, forgive me again. Shit. Where have you been? I had to go find myself. I killed and buried my friends, I never could swim. I used to push some weight with niggas who been in the gym. Come step in my Tim's, you cannot walk my path. I never caught my cabs, I had to walk. Niggas was lost and sad, I never could uh, call sir? my dad. Fuck that you know where we're going? Fuck. Mentally torn in half, feeling stuck. Hello, sir? The the music was all this isn't the way to the event. Out. I never got any clout. What sort of plot? No, what the fuck are you out. doing, sir? Nobody Hello? Do you not hear me? Flip the script. I cannot live to quit. I don't want to chill. I don't want to get no flicks. Don't want to rekindle shit. Why are we pulled don't over? Flex on me. I do not get no sleep. I'm barely up. Hope you any up. Word the MOP. You don't know me. I need my revenge. It ain't no more peace. I'm rolling deep in the turkey. In the world with three. Yo, I'm sorry, but he looks so uncomfortable firing that <laughs> weapon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at the way he fires this. This this gun, man. Can I live to quit? I don't want to chill. I don't want to get no flicks. Don't want to rekindle shit. Why are we pulled don't over? Don't flex on me. I do not get no sleep. I'm barely up. Hope you any up. Look at the way the he MLB. fires this you don't know me. I need my revenge. It ain't no more oh, peace. Oh. I'm rolling deep in the no <laughs> what what three I roll up on them white sleep You gon' see it's a fucking murder spree That's you gon' a good see, thing though. Won't nobody say a peep You gon' see don't you turn your back on me You gon' see roll up on them white sleep Catch a nigga slipping I might hit him with the pop They gon' miss him cause revenge fell sweet You gon' see won't nobody say a peep See, the older the bear, the sweeter the juice Knew I could do what I needed to proof In order to lose, I needed to win In order to win, I needed to choose I needed to fall, I needed to move I couldn't be safe, I couldn't be you I'm coming for everything this that I couldn't include in your plate And all of your food, I don't wanna do no eat Don't wanna drink, I don't wanna do no lean I don't wanna move no keys How you like me now, I'm too OP I feel like Kumo D, ain't gonna be no slack My whole team of no I no flat this one's on me. Shots, everyone. job. She won't work again. I been on top. Got a mental block, and that hurts. But then I been in shock, and my bitches flop. She a perfect ten. That's M O B. Don't you flex on me. I do not get no sleep. I'm problematic, and I gotta have it. Word the L O G. You don't know me. I need my revenge. No more peace. I'm rolling deep, and I'm finna turn your block up in the World War Three. I roll up on them white sleep. You gon' see, it's a fucking murder spree. You gon' see, won't nobody say a peep. You gon' see, don't you turn your back on me. You gon' see, roll up on them white sleep. Catch a nigga slipping, I might hit him with the pop. You gon' see, roll up on them white sleep. Catch a nigga slipping, I might hit him with the pop. They gon' miss him.
Cause revenge feels sweet You gon' see Won't nobody say it again <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Joyner, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's a I love it, man, okay? We're going out straight out fucking 60s, 70s fucking afro beard. Yeah, fucking chest hair. Let's get it. <laughs> you gonna see. Did he plan this all out with Red? We gotta find out who he planned it out with. Oh no, Red's fucking... Oh no. He's all tied up, his legs and everything, man. He can't fucking move. <laughs> oh, shit, that bitch is gonna smother his ass. Now that's a way to die. Oh, man. Written and distributed on Tully. Oh, man. Wait, I gotta see if anything else happens. Oh, no, that's it, man. I'm telling you, Ben Pro and Joyner Lucas make the best friggin' videos together. They always have. They're like little movies. Okay, guys. <laughs> I hope you hung in there with me throughout the whole thing, but highly, highly entertaining. I absolutely loved it. Was it worth going through the three different revenges? It was frustrating at times, but I absolutely, yes, it did. You guys are right. It all pulled together in the end. How it has anything to do with the ADHD song, I don't think it does. But if he wanted to use that as the intro to the ADHD song, whatever, it's his album. He can do whatever the fuck he wants to do. But that video was badass. I loved it. Like Joyner Lucas, he can be, he has an excellent personality and he has a fantastic sense of humor. If you watch, not his really serious videos, but other ones like Isis, like the ones he did with Chris Brown, he lets his personality really shine through and his sense of humor shine through. And even in Lucky You, in a way, with Eminem, they had that little break in the middle you know, the music drops out. They just have that exchange of words about the little minions that are coming around them. It's, a, they both have really great senses of humor and personality. And they just have that little conversation in the middle of this huge song, just as the beat is building up and it drops out. And it's like all, everybody who's listening to it is like, oh, and we're all ready for that. And then it the music drops out and they just have this little exchange. So it's like, so everybody's laughing. He does have a sense of humor and he has it in this as well. Even if it's just his costume changes, you know, another reason I love Joyner Lucas. He doesn't take himself totally seriously, even when he is taking himself seriously. So I love it. I love the song. I love the song when it came out as a full song. Um, it's got, got a great hook, a great beat, and he knows how to market himself. And that's why I'm wondering, is he now doing it himself, just him and Ben, which is what it's always been, you know, as far as getting his music out there. You guys let me know. This was fantastic. I loved it. I'm sorry it took me so long to get it out, guys. I've been gone for about a month now, and I'm this is my third day back. So I hope you guys are also being patient with me in that I'm not completely back into the swing of things. So be patient. I love you guys. I loved this. You guys have a fantastic day. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you know when I drop my next video. What else, guys? Yes, it's all about love in 2020. And as always, please take care of each other because no one else is going to. Ciao.